Hello and welcome back to the studio in South Wales, UK, where I paint away the stress of everyday life. So, um, I've got some cardboard. You're the gesso, this homemade gesso. There's plenty of recipes on my uh, YouTube page if you want to pop along and have a look at my playlists and things, because not a lot of people are actually um, following me on my playlists at the moment. There's loads of videos. There's over 700 videos and lessons that you can go and have a look at if you want to so don't forget i'll put the most popular um playlist um in the icards there so just there's a little thing that'll come across just click on that and it's uh, in the descriptions as well hopefully but if, if you see a little bar come across with some writing on it just press on that and then i'll take you into the into the um into the playlist so yeah i thought i'd just put a little horizon line in today and um i'm, I'm gonna play today with a lot of oranges and yellows and um not so much a tonal painting but you get the you get the idea so there's my horizon line i'm gonna love a lot of sky i might put a like a um a sun or something there like that and what i want to do is bring down a nice big old not so much of a mountain it could be just a mountain this is something you'd we don't have a lot of snow and stuff in Wales, only in the winter. A little bit a little bit in the winter, not a lot, but a lot of them are like valleys and stuff like that is the word I'm looking for. So we could have a, a distant mountain there. And we could have another little mountain coming in, maybe just down like this. Just drifting away. That could be in front of that one, a little bit like that. So there we are something like that i'm just looking at it now maybe my horizon line maybe i could make my horizon line just slightly higher there like that i'm just making this up as i go along <laughs> i want to put another type of mountain range in like this i might have some trees and things you I don't know um, something in the foreground maybe a rock or two like that maybe a few little bushes and things there maybe some some rocks anyway you get the idea so this is basically what I do in my brain <laughs> so I work all this out normally in my mind and um, I don't actually show that process very often so I'm just making sure everything is recording <laughs> so what I thought I'd do now is I've got a I got a one in short flat I'm gonna get a little bit of kitchen kitchen paper I'm just gonna moisten my palette down and get some white I've already put a, a, a yellow tonal wash onto my painting substrate we'll call it a painting substrate because a lot of you will be painting in this is just yellow and white now a lot of you will be painting on card uh, canvas some people paint on cardboard some people paint on paper believe it or not um, i find cardboard wonderful I, the reason i started painting on cardboard was because of covid19 and i couldn't get out to get um, any supplies really because of the lockdown and things like that so that's where the cardboard come in play. I hope I haven't got a lot of um, glare and stuff on my cameras. I've been playing around with my camera settings a little bit and trying to eliminate a lot of this glare. I want this to be slightly whiter up there, like that. More of a, 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 an off. A light yellow then just a light yellow just this is the type of effect i'm trying to get i don't want it too bright because it's going to affect my cameras um i might actually put a little bit of orange in the sky i think i uh, wasn't going to i was going to keep it very very yellow but i might just put a little glow of red in there now in a second we'll just see how it goes we'll just see how it goes see how, we, how the painting starts to paint itself that's so that's how i look at it i think oh the painting is de is is deciding what it looks like so 
sometimes you put a bit of colour down, what I mean is but sometimes you put a bit of colour down and you didn't mean to put that bit of colour down and you think, oh that works. So that's the type of effect I'm looking for. This is gonna be quite a bright painting. Quite a quite bright. I gotta just a touch. Now I gotta be careful what I'm doing here because I'm just gonna put that brush down. I'm gonna get another brush. I'm just gonna get a touch of red on a clean brush. This is a dry brush. There's no there's no moisture on this brush. All I want to do is just get a little bit of red. And I'm just going to blend that in that now. I know it's mixing with the, I know it's mixing with the yellow, uh, the white at the moment, going a little bit pink. It's not what I want. But we'll put a little bit of yellow over that now which will make it go more orange. I got my cardboard stuck down and sometimes it lifts as I'm painting. So I just get a little bit of moisture, a little bit of yellow. Just want that orangey type of effect in the sky. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of this. White. And just play until you're happy. That's what I normally do, is play until I'm happy with it. Get that little bit of a hazy look in the sky so you got that you've got those pinks and those you can get these lovely looking um skies they they, they look virtually pink um and they've also got that orangey type of glow to them it's, it's, it's wonderful these type of these type of um these type of skies that i'm trying to replicate here so um i'm going to wash that brush wash that brush So I want this to be part like a C then. I'm going to put a little bit of C in there. So I'm going to put some yellow in. I'm just going to put some yellow straight across there like that. And because it's a strong colour, you should see that line, that horizon line that I put in there, like that. There we are. So let's just get a small amount of red, Just that warmth. It could be just that the separation between the sky and the sea. That's what I was looking at there. <laughs> okay. Using the same brush. Now what I'm going to do is going to mix up some yellow. I'm going to mix a little bit of red into that. Just a small smidge. Like that. And I get some blue. And that's bluing up that orange. Because you remember what I said on a previous lesson that if you've got orange and blue, they tend to um, dechromarize. It tends to dechromarize the color naturally, um, makes it um, this complements blue and, and, and orange are complements, so it'll dechromarize itself. And this is what I'm looking at. There we go. So we've got that color adding white to that now. Taking that down with some white. I want it very, very light. A bit more blue. A little bit of blue, come on. But things in the distance are a lot bluer. I'm just being very careful how much blue I'm adding to this colour now. So it's, it's bordering on there. It's got a green tinge to it. There we go. I'm just feathering that edge. Just down like this. Mix 
mixing that down in there. Do, 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 do. Just checking my cameras are all working. Recording, recording, recording. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> I had a bit of a problem the other week with uh, my mic. I didn't put my headphones in and I was talking away and it was recording, but it wasn't recording off my headphones. So it doesn't make for a very good video with that respect. There we are. So we got that there. So we've got this sky, we've got this little bit of sea there. Um, I'm going to go a little bit bluer. Now, that's like this. A lot more white. I want to put another. line in there maybe I needs to be a lot lighter so I'm just adding white directly onto the canvas you can mix on on the car on the canvas or whatever you were painting on right okay let's get some of this darker color now and a few of them in just like this let's get a bit more dark let's blue that up just a touch more a bit of red a bit of yellow dragging my brush just try and get some shadow effects in there just like that you can hear the gesso on the on the paper or the cardboard or whatever you decide to draw on I'm going to put a bit more of this just on that side see what's happening so far it's coming it's coming it is coming trust me it is coming so I'm gonna get a another little brush in fact while I while I get that brush I'm just gonna reset my camera okay that's had enough time to dry off a little bit and I managed to find my brush um, which is good so I'm just gonna get another little bit of, of this kitchen paper in my hand and um, I'm just going to add a little bit more blue now to this colour. Maybe just a touch of yellow. I want this green type of effect. Um, I'm using a really old, scrubby old brush there. Um, it's nearly dead, but I never throw anything away. So the reason that is because I can do things like this. And it makes for a really good... distant type of dabbing tree pattern shape thing <laughs> and that's what it's about really it's about that using the brushes like that so we want to build in some I'm just get a little bit of moisture on my brush I want to build in these tree shapes, dots, whatever you want to call them. 
they're not really trees, are they? They're just blobs of paint, see? There we go. A little bit of highlight, light colour. Let's get a little bit of yellow ochre. The colours I've got on my, ta on my palette today are, um, um, I think that's hooker's green, a uh, cardinum yellow. Um, I got um, a yellow ochre, red, some uh, ultramarine blue, some white, some black and burnt umber. In case you're interested. In case you're interested. I'll put in some yellow ochre trees in. There we go. Get a bit of burnt umber. Burnt umber is a nice colour. Burnt umber, bit of white. Look at that lovely. Orangey brown colour. I'm not using a lot of moisture today. I'm not using a lot of paint on my brush. Um, I'm relying on the fact that I want the paint to be not over thick, not too thick. I'm just trying to get this shape that I've got in my mind. So as I've come forward, I've come a little bit darker. You can see I've come a little bit darker as I've come forward there. So um, we want to think a little bit about this side as well. We need to put some um, dark air there as well. I think what I'm going to do is get a, a little brush like this. I'm going to get some of this burnt umber and some yellow ochre together. There we are, burnt umber and yellow ochre. I think I'm going to put in some this marks like this. So I want the, the colours I'm going to put on now, I want, I want to be able to... The colours I put on now, I want to be able to stand out from the background. And you can't put light colour on light colour really, because it doesn't work. There you are, just putting that in there. Maybe just a little bit darker then. Maybe, maybe we'll put a little bit of burnt umber there, a little bit of black. Remember, remind me where I put that. when you've got a big thick lump of paint on your brush you don't want that on there that's not good but we'll leave it there because it, it'll act as a shadow anyway so maybe 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 we put another bit of black in there like that when I'm painting I'm always painting three or four brush strokes ahead of myself, so I I know roughly what I'm what I'm looking for. Um, as I as I'm painting, I I can see these things. I think I can see these things starting to develop. So I'm looking at the landscape now. I'm seeing, trying to see out work out exactly how it works. So that's that's going to be the sea there. That's gonna that's the sky. I've got some background trees in place. Um, 
I'm going back into some of this color now. I'm going to get some yellow and a little bit of white. Just want to brighten this color up a bit now. I want to put some It's not as going as as I want it. There we go. Nope, that doesn't work. See, we make a mistake. We wipe it out. There we are. Let's get some of this darker color. I, in fact, um, let me think. Let me think. Blue. blue, a bit of red, a bit of yellow, touch of white, a nice really dirty colour now, and I want to put some Dark. Lumps of paint there like this. Actually, this is not dark enough there. So going back into that black and that. We're going to have a lot of, if there's light coming that way, there's, these are going to be, there's going to be a lot of shadow here, but then it'll be picking up some light. I may change that brush actually and get um, another one of these. This is another old brush that's gone hard and stuff. And I quite like it because it's all broken and splayed and stuff like that. And Hopefully we can get, if we get this paint just right, we can get some... Nice orangey, yellowy. Tree patterns to show up. Bit of yellow ochre. All these wonderful colours. Maybe even a bit of green now. Just little dips, dips and dobs. A couple of darker marks here and there. The green tinges of green there. So we got that mass of trees and things in the background. Don't worry about detail. This is not. You don't have to worry too much about details and things. Just colours. Little dobs of paint. Not every tree has to be a, look like a tree. Every tree just is just little dobs of paint. And this is what makes. Painting, painting, because you, when you look at a painting, you you stand back and look at it at a distance. So. These trees are going to be catching a lot of light there.
I said this is going to be a quite a yellow type of painting today so we we've got the distance we've got the distance there I'm just working a little bit here now I'm going to be working on the foreground in a minute and all of a sudden this will this will come come um, come into some sort of shape but at the moment I'm just playing around with colors and shapes and things like that a little bit of that color some shadows in there back down so it's going to be darker there it's going to be darker around you You can see it's starting to come together now. It's starting to come together a little bit. And we need some shadow down the bottoms of these trees like this. A little bit of burnt umber for that. Just like that. Wee. Okay. So now I'm gonna put a bit of i I'm gonna put a sun in the sky now because I, I think it's important that we we put our light source in. A little tiny line like that, a little tiny circle like that will bring it out just like that. Don't want it too much. Don't want too much of that. Really hot sun glowing. There's a few waves then in the sea. Moisture on the brush. little bit of sea in the background we got those mountains there some trees and things wow now it's starting to look like something isn't it we could get a little bit of this color now and just put a few to get a little bit more color we need to put a few trees and things just branches and twigs very carefully like that just to give it that little distance and effect now what I thought I would do is um, check my cameras for one hello <laughs> check my cameras for two um, let's get some let's get some um, burnt umber up there because what I want to do now is I want to put some rocks and things like this so we could be standing on we could be standing on a mountain ourselves can we and looking over this wonderful landscape that we've got in front of us so let's get a little bit of black let's put a, a bit of shadow maybe there's a little bit of a rock sticking out like that and then maybe we got another rock shadow there and then we got another bit of a, a shadow coming in like that let's get 
let's get our burn dumper back in. Just push this in place like that. It'll all come together. You'll see this hopefully starting to come together in a minute. There's many ways you could do this um, particular method that I'm doing now. And the reason I put a, a lighter color down is because the quickest way I know of to do this in or for YouTube, you can paint all these highlights yourself, is I'm just going to scrape off some paint like this. Do a few things like that. I'll work on this in a second. We can we can we can tidy that up with a brush in a minute. But it's just given me some highlights to work to. Because what I want to do as well is I want to put a line like this. Watch this, and I want to come down just like that. Paint that in. Just like that. Get this brush, this paint, a bit more moisture. Get this paint all down here. Dee -dee 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 -dee. A bit of black. Just like that. I don't know how long this painting is going to take me, but i got an idea what I want to do. You see what I'm doing? I'm trying to build some sort of um, rock area there. I want to put some more trees in now. Um, back into, where did I put that little brush? Yeah. Actually, I think I might be able to use a bigger brush now. Let's get some of this yellow ochre first of all.
I'm just playing around at the moment. I got I got to concentrate. Sometimes I got to have to really have to concentrate on what I'm doing. When I paint like this, I don't. I, I normally paint quite quickly, but I, I want to really want to think about this one today. I think that's looking quite nice actually. That's looking quite nice. I'm just going to sparkle it up a little bit now. I want to put some highlights on these trees a bit. Not a lot, just just a little light source. Maybe he's just picking up a bit of light. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So we've got a little bit of greenery down by there. Let's have a look at this, these rocks now. I've got my paintbrushes, they're dirty and they're everywhere, but I don't mind that so much. Um, I want to look at these rocks now. So I want to put a, a nice highlight on some of these rocks some areas we need to put shadow in there source now quite dark there Get this rock shape, little plateau type of thing. I think in my mind, we need to put a bit of shadow under there, a bit of shadow there. We need some of this light source there. Get a bit of yellow light. I mean, that looks a bit green to me, but that's okay. I want to pick a bit of light. Let's get some light over there. I'm trying to use the same type of colors. Big rock, big almighty rock there, that's for, sh that's for sure. So we got a big rock here. It's in shadow. See these shapes that I put in? I'm just following the, the patterns of these shapes now. Who knows what this mountain is shape? I don't know. Get a bit of light. I'm trying to use the paint just a little bit. Thick 
thicker. Let's get some brown and black down there. Where's my card? Where did I put my card? There we go. Let's just drag in a few. Things like that. Okay, yellow ochre. Burned umber. Burned umber. Burned umber. Burned umber and white. Burned umber and white. Just gotta think now what I'm doing. I need some more kitchen roll. You know, I think I'm gonna. I was going to put rocks all over you, but I don't think I'm going to actually. I'm going to put some shadow in there now. Dee 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 dee. Just building this up. I'm going to put a bush or something in there, I think. I think it'd be nice if I just put a bush or something in there. Um, what I'm thinking of doing now is maybe it's just some of this burned umber. Just put another cross there like this. Yes, that's, that's, that's what I'm going to do, I think. Let's just block that out. Just make for a quicker painting, actually. That's what I'm thinking. Just makes for a slightly... Bigger painting, a, a quicker painting. Dee 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 dee. and get some highlights onto these rocks now where I think the light would hit where would the light hit Some shadows in. Give my dog barking. I hope you can. She's chasing the cat, I think. I got Molly, which is uh, my little Jack Russell dog. 
Boo, my cat. She's lovely, she is. And they get on really well. They get on, they get on really well, but sometimes they wind each other up, I think. That's what cats and dogs do, I suppose. So just trying to get some sh rock shapes in. There we go. It's starting to dry. It's starting to darken a little bit now. Um, I'm going to attempt to get some yellow. Maybe I need some yellow and white. I need to check my sound is recording. All pretty good. This is a slightly longer video than normal, but I'm happy with that. So I want to put in some maybe there. Maybe the tree. Because it's above the, all the others, it's just catching that bit of light. There we go. And it's just fading away. Down there, and out there, like that. So we'll get our little brush. And we'll put in a few branches of things like this. There we go, the little tree there. Maybe we got a bit of yellow ochre. Bit of burnt umber, bit of burnt umber, bit of yellow ochre, just to get that lovely. Shadow colour on that one side like that. And that's coming into there. That's coming into there like that. Different types of trees today. Different types of trees. It all makes sense. It all makes sense. It all makes sense. A little bit of highlight. Let's get some of this lovely yellow and white. Maybe a bit more white then. Maybe a bit more white then. There we go. Just a little bit of sparkle just a little bit of sparkle like that there we go what we need to do now is get our brush again now you can use a script lining brush for this um, but i'm using this little just just this is ordinary little brush today i'm just going to put in some very light branches and things just like that maybe maybe there's another little tree that's leaning out there like that you can't see all these branches but you know they're there there we are we can put another little tree in the background there like that just the trunk just the trunk. Get a little bit of this yellow white colour. And just touch the the trunks of the tree. Just to bring in some light like that. So we've got this trees, we've got the rocks but there, they're looking really nice now. Those rocks are looking nice now. Maybe maybe we can bring just a little bit more light. Just onto these rocks, like that. So we did say we were going to put a bush in, didn't we? So let's get our, let's get our almighty brush. Let's get some black, burnt umber. Ooh, and let's put our bush in.
Just like that. Look at that. We were struggling with them rocks and we decided to put a, a, a bush in and we've hidden most of those rocks, but we know they're there. <laughs> we know they're there. A little bit of yellow ochre on the same brush. I'm just tapping that in. Just like that. A little bit of yellow. Just a little bit. There we go. Let's go back in. We haven't used our hook as green yet, so let's put some grass in. And as we come along the front, we need to make this grass a lot lighter because it's going to be picking up the highlights or the light from the sun, I should say. Not the highlights, but the lights from the sun. A little bit of green, but there like that. There we go. A little bit of green. We can get our scribby liner brush. Get some nice. Oops, maybe, maybe I used the wrong color there. Maybe. Just put some nice blades of grass. Just like this. There's a few. And we got a lovely, lovely scene there. Actually, I think we got we could we could do wonderful things with that, couldn't we? We could. We could even, and why not? A few pine trees. Just under them rocks like that. Get a little bit of highlight. A little bit of green. A little bit of green. Don't forget evergreens of quite dark. We don't want a lot of light, but it's going to pick up a bit of light, isn't it? And there we go. Let's get a little bit more. I'm just going to put a bit more black on this one side because I want it to show. There we go. A bit more light. We could get our burnt umber. Just a little bit of burned ember, just to darken this area up a bit now. And maybe just a little bit more light catching on that rock there like that. Now you could spend hours. I'm not I'm gonna stop the painting now because I could spend hours and hours and hours just what they call titivating about. In other words, playing. And you sometimes you have to know when to stop a painting and I think I know now when to stop this painting and I'm going to put my little birds flying in the sky just like that and there's 
today's lesson and I hope you've enjoyed that because I certainly have enjoyed that and don't forget to click the like crabs don't forget to leave the description uh, uh, leave a, a comment and uh, give me a thumbs up that's always appreciated and I'll see you next time bye